So in this video, I'd like to talk about an example of applying linear algebra to cryptography. And so in the example here, we have uh, two people. So let's imagine that you are over here and you have a secret message that you want to send. We'll call that M. And you have a friend that needs to receive the message. Uh, so they also need to receive M. Now, the problem is, is that watching our communication, uh, we have apparently people who might be spying on the communication. So we'll call this person a spy. Now, you don't want the spy to know the message, and so what you don't want to do, you don't want to just send your message across and then the spy would be able to interpret your message. So what you want to do is you want to encode the message. So you want to send what we call a coded message. And since it's coded, the spy wouldn't be able to interpret it. So to do that, over here, we will need to encode our message. And then our friend would need a way to decode the message. So let's take a look at how we could do that. I'm going to switch gears here. So suppose our message, being in Vermont, uh, is red barn. And notice that there's a space in between the red and the barn. All right, so I'm going to write those words in a matrix, and I'm going to do it with three rows. So red will be in the first column, then space, BA, and the third column will be RN, space. Next, we need to convert that matrix of letters and spaces to a matrix containing integers. So R is the 18th letter of the alphabet, so I'll make that an 18. And E is a 5, that's the fifth letter of the alphabet. And D is the fourth letter, and so forth. And the spaces we will enumerate with a 27. So you see there's a space in the first row, second column, and also a 27 representing a space for the third row, third column. Okay, once we've got a matrix of integers, I'm going to call that M, that's our message. What we want to do is we want to encode that message. So we're going to come up with a coding matrix called C, and we will code up the message by multiplying C times M. Okay, so let's go back to our picture for a moment. Over here, we're going to go C times M. Okay, so we need a coding matrix C. All right, and what we'll do is we'll multiply C times M, and that's what we send out across our lines of communication, is we send out this C times M. That's our coded message, and it looks like well, a matrix that's hard to decipher, which is really good because we have this spy that's watching our communications. Okay, so our friend over here will need to know what the coding matrix is, um, and the friend to decode the matrix will multiply a C inverse times this coded message. And when we multiply C inverse times C times M, the C inverse and the C will cancel out, and that will just retrieve message M, which is what we want. Let's take a look at how this would go in MATLAB. So, Okay, so we've got the uh, script that I wanted to show you. So it's just a matrix uh, C. So I've coded up our matrix C. And then I've coded up the message matrix. So let me just run this. I've, I wanted to pre-type it in for you save a little time. Okay, so we've got matrix C. Let's see if we can move this up a bit. We've got matrix M. So those are already typed in. And now we send out the coded message. I'll call it coded message is going to be C times M. So that's what gets sent across and the spy can't figure out what we're writing about. Um, and then our friend to decode the message, so let's call this de the decoded message, that would be the inverse of C times this coded message. 
and they retrieve again red space barn.